everyone, it's Victoria and this channel about digital life, digital apps, digital bullet journaling and all of this stuff. Of course, for those who like digital bullet journaling, I want to say that in comments down below you will find free stuff. <laughs> but today I want to talk about how I am taking notes with my iPad Pro 11. And here we have it. I absolutely love it. It's 11 inches. And for all my needs, it's really comfortable size. If you like to do split screen and multitask, you will find that 11 inches isn't so great. But if you use your laptop to open some sources and then you use your iPad to take notes, it's perfectly. <laughs> and this size you can carry around without any problems. You should choose handbags that you like and then you can put it here. And time to time it's just not possible. <laughs> but if you think about mini and digital bullet journaling and the iPad mini, it's totally bad. <laughs> Worst scenario, it's your phone, because it's unrealistically to plan your digital things on your phone. It's... Mm. And I know that some of you are doing like this, and it's just... Mm. <laughs> not possible in my head in, and not comfortable at all. And what I can say about actual apps. I like good notes because of their style and some abilities. I don't like some subscription apps. If you like budgeting and all of this stuff, you understand that one-time purchase is the best deal. And what I can say about my programs that I use for my digital bullet journaling, I tried Notability. And when I found this amazing app with ability to record audio, I understood that I just don't need this feature. It's awesome if you are like on lecture and you want to find something in your notes, but when you are at home and you are just learning new stuff for yourself and you don't need to know precisely this part of your lecture. You understand that if you will need something, you will find it and no one wants to eat you alive when you are trying to find this answer and it's kinda relieving for your heart. Also, I prefer good notes for my digital bullet journaling, but I'm consistently creating new templates, new stickers, all of this stuff. Oogie boogie boogie. <laughs> and for me, it's the most comfortable way to store my plans, my projects and all of other things. I tried one note when I was like in university and it was something strange.
it's like good idea but this infinite space for your notes then you are trying to zoom in zoom out and it's cool if you have like your phone or tablet or anything with uh, touch screen but if you are just on your computer and you are trying to find in this mess something useful it's kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of annoying <laughs> But we're talking about my note-taking process and experience, of course. Some time ago, I discovered for myself liquid text. And it was kind of cool if you like mind mapping. And not also mind mapping. You are like, read something and then... Take some notes. And for this purpose, liquid text is the best because I tried a lot of apps and I bought margin note and eh, it's cool but it's something off for my style but margin note for those who uh, absolutely love note taking like mind mapping it's cool <laughs> Also, I am one of those people who likes to use split screen mode and take notes. 11 inch is not the best size, but it's normal. You can do it. I did it great. And some problems with it you can find when you are like you're trying to open another app. And third app, it's possible to open with this screen, but if you need fourth app, it's a real pain. <laughs> okay, about actual stuff that I have or I tried and what I prefer and what I don't like. Now, I prefer to create my template, then I will download it into my good notes, and then I will use it without any problems. But when I need to learn something and I don't need this specific uh, type of pages that I like to do for my digital bullet journaling, of course, check my digital bullet journaling here or in description down below and i am only grabbing my notebook clicking notes i don't use any stickers anything i use only abilities that build into this app that i use for my note taking process i tried notability from all of my heart but i don't like this system i don't like but i kind of like this built-in stickers abilities but after all i transferred for good notes because it's so cool recently i found a lot of comments that other people like zoom notes and it has some pluses but if i have so many apps that i don't use i don't want to buy another app to just okay i don't like how it look like and i won't use it and it's something that you should consider before you are buying some sort of app 
you should enjoy it, but it should be on productive side. <laughs> About beautiful headers for your notes. There are some apps that allow you to add beautiful text into images. And you can create this text, copy it, and paste into your digital bullet journal. And it works fine. But it is a pain in... <clears throat> you know, what I prefer for headers and all of these things, it's download like a font that you like. You can buy for a few dollars uh, any font and there would be bundle with 1,000 fonts and you can download through this app uh, this another font from another sources or you can search some sites like DaFont and search free fonts and then choose it and then you can use it across all of your apps. You should only install it into your iPad system. And that's something that I really like because if you installed this cool font, you can use it in video editing, in photo editing, when you are trying to make stickers, in your digital bullet journaling, in good notes and other apps, you have like a type option and you can type and then choose this font and it would be beautiful. But from all of my heart, I want to say that I don't prefer super cool looking notes when I am studying because I'm kind of like to scratch some notes and then I'm not even reviewing it most of the time. I just remember that it is and I mostly don't need to review it because 80% I remember actually and even more but I am just taking myself when I am not sure actually in most cases I am not sure that I remember something correctly but it's actually okay about your notes I like stickers because it's easier to put this beautiful sticker and forget about all of this pain about Create circles and circles and circles and line, 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 and then create to-do list because you already created this, this PNG file or this preset and you are using it uh, with a few clicks. But you should consider that a lot of this mini, mini stuff, it could provoke your iPad to freeze or lag and you don't want your iPad to lag, believe me. <laughs> it's kind of pain in your heart. And I recommend if you like to learn new stuff, install fonts that you like. Use all of these beautiful templates that you have in your app and you would be perfectly fine. If you are using bullet journaling and like to decorate it and all of this stuff, you should understand that size of your stickers is your enemy and you should pay attention to it. Also, I'm really obsessed with this ability in all of these apps to search information and convert this ugly, because I have really ugly handwriting in all of my languages that I speak and write and it doesn't matter, it's like with me for all my life. <laughs> and it is understand my 
handwriting, my very bad handwriting. I understand it too, but not always. Mostly, I bet understand it. And you can convert all of your notes into typed text. And if you are thinking, oh, some Instagram especially photos have so beautiful handwriting. Secret consists of few steps. It's you can create your own font using your own hand, but you can create very beautiful font that are similar to your handwriting. And then you are just converting your handwriting, applying this beautiful font, and you are ready to post it into Instagram account and enjoy how it aesthetically look like. For me, it's additional steps that I won't need in my life. But if you are enjoying, <laughs> you can. If you want perfect, but your handwriting, you can create this font. But I recommend to use just any other font. You can find many fonts in the internet and it would be free fonts that would be easy to use. And you don't need to correct your head how all of this works. For those who need to know, there are some sites where you can upload some style sheet with your letters and it will combine it into your font. My note-taking process, it's not only note-taking because I like to create bookmarks and it's easy for navigation. I like to organize my notes if I don't need this or that type of file. I will delete it. Okay, it's not so a big size and you can save it, but I have a lot of files that I saved recently and since I am thinking I should organize it, I should organize it. And I am even organizing it time to time, like uh, 24 hours challenge to organize this, but it's just endless. <laughs> if you are interested in learning and beautiful, beautiful notes, it's not like a productive something, it's more visual and you are, eh, I don't need it, then forget about your handwriting. Just use your notes, enjoy it, convert it, change your font and forget about all of this I will create something amazing and beautiful type of things. <laughs> but you can. Also, another way that you can use is create ugly notes and then take your time and rearrange all of your notes. Like move this, resize this, recolor this. It's digital note taking. It's supposed to be like this. You can do whatever you want. You can create some sort of boxes and put some valuable information here. And it would be cool, productive, and and <laughs> in description would be links to beginner tips in digital bullet journaling how you can create your mm -hmm, what you need to create your 
digital bullet journal, my digital bullet journals, and a lot of other stuff. 100% check it in the description down below. And I would be really happy if you like it, subscribe, and answer on my question. What do you use for your digital bullet journaling? And if you use digital bullet journaling, what do you like? If you not, are you interested in starting something like this? Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.